If you follow Do It Myself Garage on Facebook, you'll already know what this is. Let's take a look. All right, so it's a slide assembly cover. If you haven't guessed yet, it's seats. I ordered them, fully expecting them to be on back order. And they arrived here, which is awesome. No complaints whatsoever. Went ahead and got the ones with the headrests. And as you can tell by how it's laid in the box, they fully recline. So unlike the original seats in these cars, where there's no adjustment whatsoever, these actually recline and they have headrests. The 68 GTO, you can get headrests, but it was an option. Um, and uh, what I really liked about these, I'll turn it around here for you, is the pattern is not unlike the original GTO. Kind of got the vertical slats and stuff, so pretty, uh, pretty nice. These seats also came with the hardware for the slides. My understanding is that I'll have to build some type of a frame for mounting them in the car. 68 to 72 a body so yeah this should be cool slide back and forth these seats fully reclined and they tilt forward for access to the back seat which is really handy welcome back to do it myself garage as promised we're working on the interior um, I've got the seat out and this is my new bracket for the pro car seats and as you can see, it lines up pretty darn well. So I'm just gonna come up with an angle bracket to go in there, bolt it right to the floor. I'm hoping that'll be the right height. If it's not, um, I can always cut part of the tab off on here. So that's what I'm working on right now. So after further consideration, these are, this metal is just a little too thin. <laughs> I should have done some more research before I did this, and I usually do. First iteration. Too thin. Second iteration, good idea, but I wasn't taking into account the width of the seats. It's about 15 and three quarter from like the middle of where the bolt pattern would be here to the middle of the bolt pattern on the outside here. So like the farthest apart if you could put bolts. Okay, so it's 15 and three quarter. However, the bolts on the floor front set is 13 inches apart and the back set is 14 inches apart. I had the length right, but I wasn't accounting for the width. So my final deal is I made these brackets and the holes are offset and they're perfect. I already had the seat in here. However, I went to the very first hole and I'm not terribly tall, but they are a bit they are a bit tall. So the way I made the bracket, I can go first or second. If I go to the third hole, because of the way the travel is, I will have to cut the top of the bracket off on the back ones. All right, so when you do the brackets, if your bracket is gonna extend past here, past this edge, okay, you gotta watch out. It can't go very much past because it has to clear the slider here. Has to clear the slide. So I'm good for the first two holes. If I get to the third hole, I gotta cut the top of my brackets off, which is fine. I don't think I'm going to the lowest setting. This here will give me all oh, about three quarters of an inch um, down, so about 20 millimeters. That'll give me about 20 millimeters lower. I was actually pretty good on the height in there, uh, but it definitely felt higher. Obviously the uh, padding is brand new, <laughs> not sagging like the old ones. So let's go ahead and we'll take the, take the old death wheel and grind these tabs off on, on all of them. And I think I'm going to take them off the seats so I don't uh, set my new upholstery on fire or damage it at all. All right. So sorry about that. Battery went dead. 
I put the sawzall in the slot, cut out, flipped it over, cut out the other way, put it on the grinding wheel, rounded it up. So I got both sides done. Let's get this on there and then we'll get this, uh, gotta get this wire on here also. Uh, I put it in the car and I forgot I hadn't put this wire on there and that's what pulls the slide so you can slide it forward and back. Otherwise, uh, you got the handles only on the one side, but the wire has to pull the release on the other. So let's get this put together. I'll get you put on the stand. All right, I just started on here. These levers have got to face toward the front of the seat. Obviously, a short leather, leather, lever here basically is one of these that's just cut off. Um, so anyway, this goes on here. Get these bolts started. You sure you run it all the way down, but you don't have to have it tight, but don't leave it up or you'll jam your slide. All right, so now I've got to release the slide so I can push this down. So you got to pull this pretty hard. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a pain. I mean, it slides hard. It's supposed to slide with your body weight. So, um, and just get it so you get this other bolt hole exposed. Now this one, now you can tighten it up once you have the, once you have them both in, you know they're lined up. Now I'm gonna pull this one, pull it all the way back up. I can tighten this bolt now. And then I'm gonna, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm in the eighth hole here. Make sure I do the same thing on the other side when you put it in the car, or you'll be fighting yourself. Doesn't matter what hole you put it on, as long as it's the same on both. And here's a good example of why you, uh, of why you make sure that you test fit the holes, because this one's not lining up this time. I had tightened that down, I wouldn't have any room to work at all. That one's tight. Run it back down, tighten this one. Okay, run this back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now let's get this wire on here. It's my alarm telling me to go to work. We now return to our regularly scheduled program where Patrick is an idiot. Um, if you were watching me earlier, you would have noticed that this pushes this way, this pushes this way. I gotta go on this hole. This is where it pulls. You big dummy. Ha! Ha! I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in here. So this one is pulling out. This one pulling out also. <laughs> oh, I got in a hurry because it's time to go to work and I, yeah, botched that up. But we're all good. Everything's nice and clean. Won't hook in anything under the seat. Good to go. We are ready to put this in the car tomorrow, unfortunately. Gotta go to work. Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. That's why I did it on the passenger side. Let's take a look. Yep, I'm too far forward, but that's, uh, that's where I have the adjustment. Oh, I like that. And then the adjustment here. Oi! <laughs> Obviously, the top one is, is too far. One, two. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Plenty, plenty of room for the head. I think it's going to be good. Let's go ahead and get this other side vacuumed out and uh, start working on those brackets.
All right, so I'm going to start making the brackets for the driver's side. I'm going to make two two and a half inch brackets and two two inch brackets. Uh, let's get these cut out first and then we'll work on drilling the holes. Squeeze it hard enough so it doesn't move. Don't have to get crazy here. Should be good enough. All I'm going to do is the blade fit inside of here last time. I'll bring it a little closer. Uh, the blade fit right inside the slot. Um, that's how I'm going to cut it. And then I just put it on the, on the grinder over here and uh, rounded it off. So this worked really good going from the outside, from the inside out. Uh, that way you don't cut in. The first one I tried to do when I actually gouging it a little bit. So this way it's kind of almost impossible to gouge it. And I don't have it very tight so I'm going to kind of hold this piece. Oops! Come on. I need to go a little tighter. I say the cardboard's compressing at this point. Come on, there we go. That should bottom down a little bit better. slow just so you can kind of see but it's kind of like a hot knife through butter there that works really really well now lifting up we'll see the vice might decide not to hold it going this way just say nice and slow that's all there is to it Done. I'm going to do three more just like that. So the screws are with this uh, adjustment wire. They're just kind of together in the package. Let's come over here and get the stuff together. I actually got to go grab the wrench real quick too. And I'll get the camera set up here. The goal when I get done is for it to still drop all the way back. Um, might have went a little too aggressive on that, but we'll see here in a second. All right, I like that a lot better. It has just a tidge of slack there, which is fine. But you notice this one pulls like all the way back to the edge. This one pulls to the edge or maybe even a little past, but it's definitely going all the way in. That's what you need. Okay, now the other thing that you have to do here is these need to be in the same spot when you put them in the car. Doesn't matter where you put them as long as they're in the same spot. So I'm gonna go, uh, let's try about right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth slot here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth. I want that there so that they're parallel. Otherwise, you'll have a heck of a time getting your bolts in. <laughs> All right, so now that we got that, let's get the tape measure and verify. That might seem like a lot of work. Um, with this little wire here, you, you want that adjusted properly. So take your time doing that. Otherwise, you have to pull the whole seat out. There's no way you're going to adjust this under the car, uh, in the car. All right, so these were 15 and 3 quarter. Like I say, if I put a bolt in the furthest outside hole, there were 15 and 3 quarter on the other one. Uh, you know, I'm not going to the very edge. I'm going to like, hey, if I had a bolt in there, where would the center of the bolt be? 
and they're both 15 and 3 quarter again. So that tells me that the dimensions I used on the other brackets I can use again and I will go ahead and show you how I did that. I actually marked them on here. I'm going to mark them again. It's not an absolute measurement because the brackets aren't exactly the right size. But I put them on here and I marked them so I would get the, the 14 and the 13 uh, while it's on the frame. That's where it's important so that way when you bolt those down, when you go to put this in place, these slots have a chance to line up. And of course these are slotted so there is a little bit of forgiveness there. When I'm drilling the holes in these brackets, I'm using a half inch drill. It's 5 16 uh, bolts, so again, there's a little bit of room uh, for for things to move around. Uh, so you have you have a little bit of forgiveness there as well. So both of the brackets, when they're in the floor in the car, the flat part goes toward the front of the car. You want this to be able to go on here? It has to be up just a little bit. The, the hole that goes into the floor is going to be over here, so you won't interfere with this side. So just raise it up just a little bit. And that'll be where your that'll be where your hole is. If I have to go to the lowest hole, I'll have to cut the top part of this bracket off. You want the hole to be fairly close to the bottom for the most strength. That's that one. Now the location of the hole up here. This way isn't nearly as important as this way. So remember, I said. Half a seven eighths of seven sixteenths. Well, seven sixteenths. I have this on the outside edge. Seven sixteenths is right there. Kind of the same thing there. Keep it middle half in. Doesn't have to be all the way up against the edge. Um, basically, if you put them the same spot on both, on all four, uh, then you'll be fine because they're all facing the same way. Then you'll be good to go. And there's some. A little bit of give in these when you go to bolt them down, uh, you'll be really, really close. So I've got this one marked here. My bolts toward the outside. Got that one marked there, 7 16 So we're good. I've got that marked as the left side. Go ahead and mark up the right hand one. And again, lift it up a little bit off of the off the bracket so you don't don't catch. Mark where your hole's gonna be. The bottom. Not going all the way to the outside, but real close. So there we go. And then 7 16 over again. A little hard to do with one hand, but you can do it. You could clamp this in place if you're really concerned. I'm just going to use my finger. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, this stuff all has... Uh, slots in it. Again, we're using a 3 8 drill, 5 16 bolts. There's a little bit of wiggle room on all this stuff. When you tighten it up, it's going to tension it down and you'll be good. Somehow when I marked these, I marked them wrong. So the two in the front are right on these. I think I got my marks flipped. Maybe I had the parts backwards. I'm not sure. The hole in the bracket to go on the seat is right. It's exactly where I want it. But this has got to be, these holes when they're done, these have got to be 15 inches apart. Well, they are 15 inches apart. Well, then what am I, how am I screwing up here? Oh, I, hold on. I know where I messed up now. I had a number stuck in my head. It was the wrong number. Okay, so bottom. Bottom. Okay, so that bracket goes there. Okay, that bracket is 14 inches apart, not 15 on the floor. So I did these 15 inches apart. They should have been 14 inches apart. So that's my fault. Now I have two options here. I can either make new brackets or I can use these and just drill another hole over a half an inch. Only problem is drilling a half inch hole over a half an inch is going to kind of be close. 
You know what? I have enough material. I think I'll just make new brackets. Okay, so that is what the brackets look like once they're in. Both facing forward. I have not test fit the seat at all. I am really hoping the length is exactly the same as the other side. Uh, the widths I have right. So let's see if she fits. Alright, you won't be able to see a whole lot, but that's better than nothing, I hope. <laughs> Alright, turn this around. And I got the belt hooked in here. Here we go. I say I didn't do anything with the length. The width I measured. Alright. Let's see if this is anywhere close. Alright. And this bracket's on the wrong side. Fortunately, that was right. Oh boy. We're looking good. Looking good, boys and girls. Wow, it actually lined up really, really well. I was going to sit in it, but I think I'm going to put the start the bolts first before I move it. Seat is 100% in. All right, seat is in. Headrest. Push this little button here. Headrest is in. I already kind of test fitted this for myself. I am about 5'10, 5'10 and a half. This is about right. I've got uh, quite a bit more I can go forward if you're short. And a bit more to go back if you're really tall. The height here, like I said, I went to the second notch. I don't have a headliner in here. So if I go to this frame part, I'm, yeah, I got, got a quite a bit of room between me and the frame here. So I'm good. Uh, I do have to slide it forward, though, because that's too, uh, too far back for me. Um, it's about right, though. Good. Still get here. Seat belt. It's good. Got my headrest. Got my headrest. There we go. That is awesome. They are not too wide at all for this car. They're like kind of nice. There's doesn't crowd anything. I really like them. Seem to be comfy. Um, the tilt forward and back seems to be about right. The bottom cushion maybe could tilt back a little bit more, but then you run into a lot of, you know, you don't have a lot of room for your legs with the, with the seat either, so um, I think this is going to be good. Very comfortable. Um, yeah, that's going to be real good. I am very pleased with how these turned out. Uh, I just want to point out here, I did not put the cover on that yet, uh, but that's for the, that's for the tilt handle. Um, you can, there's just a single screw that goes in there. It's no big deal. You can see the brackets for the seat. So if a person's concerned about that, I, I imagine you could make a cover for that. Um, you know, kind of completely up to you. I could paint that whole thing black. I'm not to that point yet, but it wouldn't take, you know, I could just mask that off and paint that if a guy wanted to. But I am very pleased with these seats. Uh, was very comfortable to drive. And uh, for the price of $753 shipped, um, I, I would highly recommend these. I'll leave a link in the description to the ones I bought. Um, not a paid sponsor, nothing like that. Just wanted to show you how easy it was to make brackets. I'm fairly certain these were going to be just fine. You don't need the fancy $30 or $50 a side brackets. I'm really happy with how they sit in there. Um, yeah, I'll let you know as I drive it a little longer. I'll let you know how it works out. All right. I definitely suggest putting this on here before you drop it in the car if you have a seatbelt set up. Um, my seatbelt was in the way. So 
Also, the screw was a little difficult to get started. So I put it in there without the cover on, got the threads to seat, and then backed it up. Now I gotta put this back to where it belongs. All right, as you can see, I'm very, very happy with these seats, really liking them. Uh, the bracketry was really easy, just some angle iron, inch and a half by inch and a half from a local hardware store. Not even $20 in hardware, I don't think. I bought grade eight bolts to go and all that. Really wanted to show that this could be done without welding, and uh, they should be plenty good for for what I need. They're gonna, you know, they're bolted down, they're solid, they're not gonna go anywhere. Um, not gonna give exact dimensions other than the, the bolt holes on mine, and I've seen some others that mention it. The front, the front bolt holes are 13 inches apart, rear ones are 14 inches apart. If you do the brackets the way I laid them out, at least when I did it, um, the length works out perfect. You could definitely cover up those brackets or paint them. So I did get to break those seats in. I got to go on a, a pretty good cruise. I uh, went up to Sock Center. Eagle's Healing Nest up there is a uh, outreach that helps uh, veterans and their families. Uh, they had a cruise and a car show uh, on this last Saturday. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a great time. I had a really good time driving up there and participating. Um, they're, they're a great group. They do a really good outreach out there. Um, so if you can, check them out on Facebook on Eagle's Healing Nest. And uh, again, thanks for, for watching. I've got some video of the cruise and of the car show coming up at the end here. Thanks again for all your support for me. And thanks again to our veterans for, for all they've done for this country. And uh, thank you for Eagle's Healing Nest uh, for helping those veter veterans that are, that are struggling. Thanks again and enjoy this video at the end here. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you in my next video. Bye. All right, good morning. We're at the Midway Barn Grill up here in Long Prairie, Minnesota. We're going to be doing a car cruise and benefit today. And surprising, there's a lot of cars that showed up. And they're still rolling in. We don't leave for another half an hour yet. Good temperature. We're doing good.